Okay, so we're at the end of this section, and as always, it's your turn to put it into practice, uh, as you can see by these giant letters. So we've got a couple of problems here that cover basically everything we talked about. Well, not everything, but all the big things we talked about in this section, all about data types. So strings, text data types, numeric data types, and then date and time information and ways of working with those dates um, with some of the more common date functions. So there's a couple of, of exercises here. Some of them involve writing code. Some of them are fill in the blanks. And some of them are just, uh, I don't know what you would call this, free response, like this one here. So let's get started, and then in the next video, we'll have a solution. So this one, what's a good use case for char or chair? or No, not chair, <laughs> char or car, uh, that data type. So when would you use that instead of or in lieu of var char? So you can use one of the things that we talked about um, or come up with your own. You don't have to write it down. Just come up with something. Next up, fill in the blanks here. So we've got uh, a table that I'm creating called inventory or inventories or whatever, some sort of uh, something that we're storing, books or toys. We've got an item name. What data type should that be? There's not necessarily one only one workable answer, but there's one better answer. Price. So what data type should price be? And not just the type of, or not just the name of the data type, but what are you going to put in those parentheses? And as a note, all of our prices are less than $1 million. Not equal to $1 million, just to be clear. They're less than $1 million. So how would we represent that with our data type? And then quantity. That's a number as well. What data type makes the most sense there? Okay, then moving on. What's the difference between date time and timestamp? There's not just one difference, but when would you use one versus the other? How are they different? Um, this is, we talked about it. We looked at the documentation for both of them. So hopefully it's not too hard. Next up in cloud nine, print out the current time using MySQL. So just the time. Then the next question is to print out the current date, but not the time. So just the date. And then once you've done that, print out the current day of the week, the number of the day of the week. So if it's a, what is it, a Saturday, it should be seven. If it's a Friday, six, and so on. So just print that out. And then do the same thing, print out the current day of the week, but this time it should be the name of the day of the week, like Monday or Tuesday. So the English name of the day of the week for today, the current, whenever you're running this, uh, print out the day of the week. Next up, print out the current day and time using this format. So two month or month, month slash day, day slash four digits for the year. And then once you've done that, we have another one, print out the current day and time using this format, which I wasn't sure how to actually boil this down to uh, a nice little formula like we have here. So I just gave you two examples. So we have the full month name, January or April. Then we have this, which there's a name for it. I think it's the anglicized, uh, what is it? Anglicized digits or something. It's in the documentation. So we didn't cover this. You'll have to dig around to figure out how you format it this way. But with the day of the, uh, of the month, like two or one, but instead of just the number, we want this anglicized version. So second, first, third, 10th, and so on. And then at, and then the time. And for the time, we just want hour, colon, minutes. Okay. After you've done that, we have one final thing. Create a tweets table, and the tweets table should store the content of a tweet. So that's going to be text, and I believe, what is it, 140 characters? Um, and then a username, and we don't need a character limit for that. Let's, or I don't know, let's say 20 characters, but that's not that important. And then we also want to store the time the tweet was created. Okay, when you've done that, pat yourself on the back.